right, uh, first of all, your, your reaction to this. Uh, interestingly, we have Al Sharpton says that this is a new low for police, and, and Bill Cosby saying he had no r right to say anything about it. And your thoughts? That who had no right to say? I mean, well, the president. His, the the president, president certainly had the right to say something well, about but it. But the president started out. We didn't play he said this he part didn't of know it. All the facts. No, he says I don't know. Not having been there, not having seen all the facts, all the that facts. why would he say the police acted stupidly? Because it was his reaction to a, the situation that the facts that are known. Which were then backed up by the police department because the charges were dropped. That would no, not the charges that, were dropped. That, no, no, I have the police reports right the here. The charges were dropped, Sean. Can, can I finish? Yes, I, you it's can. irrelevant. It it's irrelevant not. to whether or not this that happened. In both police reports, they corroborate an angry, a belligerent, a confrontational professor who house. was not cooperative In with the house. police. In his house. But After they were right. responding to help him. Right. But well, as you said, Sean, the, the, both of those reports corroborate each other, and they very succinctly outline he engaged in disorderly conduct. They had no choice to do that. Officer Jacques, they're putting their life on the line. They were responding to a call to help the owner of this home. They were Only... not putting their life on the line in Skip Gates' house. Wait a minute. You don't know that. Yes, I do. You don't he know was that. There's, there's nothing in that report that suggested oh, he was fine. armed so he, or a threat to the, that police. So did that cop know it when he walked in that house? Did, did he, did nothing no, no, no. suggested that. that he did was Did that afraid. cop know what he was what facing? Else knows. All I can tell you is the same police department looked at the same facts and dropped the charges. Well, so I want to... Oh, well, no, I want you to answer a question for me. How belligerent, how, what kind of threat was an armed policeman from a 58-year-old man with a cane? What kind of threat did he represent? Well, first of all, the police officer wouldn't know because the police officer went there on the assumption that there was a break-in and entry. He knew Let that he finish. was in his home. Know, he, the, he went there on the assumption that there was a breaking and entry. That's, well, that's what the call was. He asked the person for ID. The person was confrontational, combative, and not, not helpful to the police. ID. Is that the right way to teach he our kids? He provided ID. No, he did not. Originally, both reports said he refused the, the, the to provide say a law enforcement officer who risked well, his life. Well, this professor didn't give it. And he didn't get it. Well, he didn't, he, he didn't get it, actually. He didn't get it.